Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2007 BMW M5. This is a clean title, clean Carfax car. It's got 79,000 miles on it. We took it on trade. Uh, we can finance it through Cuddle. I could put an extended warranty on it. Um, and we welcome trades. So we haven't dealt with these much. Um, it's, it's the first generation after the E39. Um, it's powered by a V10. And um, we kept it because of the color combination the condition um, and the miles. So it's um, probably below average mileage. It's really, really clean. It had a clear bra on the front of it. So we removed that just because it had started to discolor. And so the paint underneath and on the front is really, really clean. Uh, there's some minor curb rash. There's a little bit there. Uh, I'm gonna have all the wheels repaired. So that will all be buffed out. The rest of the car, there's not a dent to ding or a scratch on. It's super clean. We have the original window sticker. Uh, we have the original compressor, all the original tools, the two original keys, uh, the valet key. So this is the one wheel that doesn't have any um, rash on it. The other is, is it is minor, but we're still going to have it fixed. Um, so our, the customer we took it on trade from replaced these. That's the next generation 5 Series taillight. Um, and we have the originals here. He also did some interior lighting. Um, so if you wanted to take those back to stock, uh, there's where they are. And then um, there's an extra set of mats in, mats in there also. So you can see how clean this is. Uh, and we have pictures of this stuff. So if you wanted a more detail, if I'm going too fast. But this is really nice stuff to see. So this is the original um, diagram with the fuses in it. Extra fuses, the tool kit, tow hook, screwdriver. So that's nice um, because that came with the car originally. And then down here uh, is the original compressor. So, you know, if this car would have come through an auction, you wouldn't see this stuff. Uh, all these things would be missing. They get stolen or, I don't know, people take them out when they trade their car in, whatever the case may be. So it's really nice to have all that stuff included. Again, you can see how clean this is. I think as we advertise this, it's the only Alpine white M5 of this generation. Uh, there you can see the little rash. It's gonna be repaired um, in the country for sale. And we really like the white, basically on any BMW. It looks good on the X5s, it looks good on the X3s, really good on the M3s, M4s, M5s. So the lights are clear. You can see the front is clean. And that's really because the clear bra just came off. So we've got two master keys, as I mentioned, uh, and the window sticker. So you do have rear manual sunshades. You have a power um, shade in the back. You do have um, an Alcantara headliner. It is merino leather, so that's been upgraded. You have rear heated seats. So keyless go. This is a $100,000 car back in the day. So this is their sport seat for this generation. Uh, this, I don't know if it'll work without, the, yeah it does. So the sport seat extension. Um, so that's nice that that works, not common. Uh, and then adjustable, you got bladders in there. Um, power tilt telescoping wheel and then onboard computer system. Oh, that's pretty typical. Uh, so here, center console, again, everything is intact and where it's supposed to be, it's really clean. Wood trim, iDrive, so keyless go. Let me turn this down real quick. Um, here's the two keys and the valet key, uh, which I mentioned in the ad. So there's the passenger side door, passenger side seat, super clean. Dash is clean. Doesn't need anything, so I'm turning the headlights on. Multi-function steering wheel, paddle shifters, M drive. This is a button that you can program. Uh, voice activation, Bluetooth volume control. Uh, your check, computer check, your onboard computer system. As I mentioned, power tilt and telescoping wheel. Cruise control, uh, power folding mirrors, mirror adjustment windows. Um, keyless go, as I mentioned. Um, so damper control, EDC, DSC. Uh, so these are related to, well, you know, I actually I can't tell you the power. I believe that or not. It makes me think of the Land Cruiser and Lexus products. Uh, DSC is dynamic stability control. 
Uh, this I believe is EDC electronic dampening control. And then this is a uh, shift in configuration which is part of the M drive. You have dual heated seats. You have tire pressure monitor and parking sensors. Uh, you do have front and rear parking sensors. Dual auto climate control, a DVD player. Uh, it would play a DVD in the front as well as a CD player. Uh, there's your iDrive system which is, I mean, this is the first you know, the first generation of this. So there's your um, map, which I will pull up real quick, so you can tell it is in our location. So there's your map. Uh, if you go back by hitting menu, you've got Bluetooth. Uh, if you go back to menu, entertainment, so that's your stereo system. Satellite radio, weather band, AM, FM, aux, uh, climate control, and then here, if you push down into the I position, It'll give you your settings and then it will just tell you all your stuff. So we're gonna do uh, front and rear pads on this. We're gonna do front rotors. Uh, my mechanic found a very small coolant leak which we're gonna, uh, at a fitting and a hose which we're gonna replace. You can see the original books are in here. Uh, home link, so three buttons up here. Programmable for security gates and garage door openers. I'll just show you that the sunroof works. Close that up. It's really, really clean, as you can see. I mean, the dash, the wood, there's no cracking anywhere. There's no signs of wear and tear. I mean, really, really nice example of this generation uh, M5. Now, typically, we wouldn't pursue these uh, just because it's hard to find good examples or examples that haven't been beat up. And this is an example that's been really, really well cared for. So, anyways. If you have questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us. We can reach at 503-227-2354. And we'd like to thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.